July the 10th, 2019. Now, guys, we've had our eyes on the storm in the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, our friends out in on the West Coast I want to do a quick update here. We're getting over 1,700 aftershocks in the last 24 hours there in at China Lake, the Naval Air Station. Yesterday, as the solar winds were increasing, and I did a video about that, we started seeing some pressure move around clockwise the ring of fire 5.4 here in alaska and as it moved around we started seeing the strength then and today of the quakes here in uh, california increasing and if you zoom this in guys in this area of 200 or, or 2110 quakes on the globe that uh, usgs is monitoring 1,864 in the last 24 hours have been in this area. And you can see in the Cuso area here, 4.1s at Cuso Junction, Little Lake. And they, you, these are very shallow, 1.7 kilometers, 0.8 kilometers, guys. This is surface, 0.5 kilometers. This has to be watched very carefully. Why is it uh, necessary now? Because the solar winds that we talked about in the video last night are still increasing now if you go to our website and click on space weather you can go and click on the top left it's got solar wind speed and you can choose between the ace and discover satellite but guys if you go there and scan through this in solar wind chart here and it's in kilometers per second you can see that it's been increasing since just before midnight utc time on the 8th but yesterday it really started picking up you can see that it's still up there and if you scan through here the highest mark was 674 i did it guys 674 kilometers per second is 1.508 million miles per hour now shields are weak we've seen stronger solar wind than this but not lately and so with our weak shields because of grand solar minimum we've got to be very careful with the uh, fault zones all around the world, but especially now uh, for our friends in Southern California. Guys, I want to keep it short, get this information up. It's a heads up. Be safe.